Yeah, hi there. These comments are for uh, me and Mina. This is Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer of the Seven Step System to pass the TOEFL IBT, and you just completed the independent speaking practice test number four at my website. Uh, good to hear from you. I think you're in pretty good shape here. Uh, I'll give you some uh, advantages and disadvantages or some strengths and weaknesses uh, of your speech right now. Uh, in terms of delivery, uh, I didn't really notice any major problems there. You're in pretty good shape. It's e easy to understand what you're saying without too much difficulty. Uh, in terms of language use, you did have a few minor problems there that I think may bring down your score just a little bit. One time in your speech, you talked about Baghdad, then you said where, then you said, uh, you used a subject there in that dependent clause, but you didn't use a verb. So you were missing a verb in there. Uh, another part of this speech, <coughs> excuse me, uh, you're missing sometimes words like a, and, and the. These are called articles, and, and the TOEFL looks at this as what's called telegraphic speech. When you leave out grammatical type words and don't put those into your speech, those are some minor problems. Uh, also, you talked about attractions. I think you're trying to use that as a noun. I think you probably were looking for the word tourist attractions, but you weren't exactly sure uh, how to say that word. So what that means is sometimes you're using uh, what we call unnatural type expressions. And that can also bring your score down just a little bit. Uh, in terms of grammar, uh, you could use maybe a little bit more advanced grammar. Try to combine some of your sentences a little bit more. But you, you did use, I liked how you used if and then would. So you were talking about what's called a present impossible hypothetical situation and the grammar there was good in terms of your topic development you definitely had a thesis you had two key points you gave details to support those points all right so based on my analysis of the speech that you just did uh, I would give you uh, 23 points out of 30 right now uh, about 3.0 out of 4 Alrighty, uh, I would recommend uh, you might want to take a look at some of my grammar lessons which might help you a little bit in terms of reducing some of the errors uh, that you're making in your speech. Alright, good to hear from you.